Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a standard solution. Before you get your equipment ready, you need to calculate the mass of solid you will require for your concentration and volume of solution. I am making 250 cm cubed of a 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed concentration of sodium chloride. I've done my calculations and I need 1.4625 grams of sodium chloride. I get my equipment ready. Balance, weighing boat, funnel, a volumetric flask, a spatula, a stirring rod, an empty beaker, my compound and distilled water. I am making 250 centimetres cubed of solution, so therefore I have a 250 centimetres cubed volumetric flask. The volumetric flask must be the volume that you wish to have at the end. Volumetric flasks come in many different sizes. I have a 50 all the way up to a two decimeter volumetric flask. When choosing the beaker, I have a hundred centimeters cubed beaker to do my dissolving of my solid. I know I can go up to the top of this and I will not go over the amount of distilled water I require. If you have a larger volumetric flask, use a larger beaker. If a smaller one, use a smaller beaker. When it comes to volumetric fl flasks, size matters. So I'm now going to create my standard solution. So I put my weighing boat on my balance and zero it. I need to have 1.4625 grams. However, my balance does not do four decimal places. So I'm going to put on 1.46 grams. Once I've weighed that out, I then get my empty beaker and put it on the balance and zero it. Using the weighing boat, I put my solid into the beaker and I make a note of that mass of solid. I will use that to calculate the actual concentration of my solution at the end. Now I have that, I can put some distilled water in. I've decanted some distilled water into beaker to make it easier to pour. And I will stir to start dissolving that solid. If you have a compound that doesn't readily dissolve in room temperature water, you can use a warm water bath to help that solid dissolve. Once that's dissolved as much as possible, I get my funnel into my volumetric flask and I pour this solution in. All of my glassware has been rinsed with distilled water before the start. Now I rinse every piece of equipment that has been used with the solution. So I'm going to rinse my stirring rod. This is to make sure all of the sodium chloride goes into my volumetric flask. Rinse out the beaker with a wash bottle. I do it three times just to make sure. And now I'm going to put in distilled water so it's just below the 250 centimeters cubed mark on the neck of my volumetric. I will rinse the funnel and then using a wash bottle I will put in distilled water 
until the meniscus is sitting on that 250 line. Once that's sitting on the line, I put my stopper in and invert it a couple of times. Leave it to stand for a minute or so and just double check that the meniscus is still sitting on the line. If it's not, top it up with a couple of drops to make sure it's sitting back on the line. I will then use the mass that I recorded to calculate my actual concentration of sodium chloride and that is now ready to use. Thank you.